Excel formulas can use four types of cell references. Absolute cell references with the dollar sign, for example, dollar A, dollar 2, always remains constant no matter where they are copied. Copy across or down and the reference does not change. Relative cells references without the dollar sign, for example, A2, change based on the relative position of rows and columns. When copied down, the column letter stays same and row numbers change. A2 change to A3. When copied across, the column letters change and row number stays same. A2 change to B2. Mixed cell references. A column letter or row number remains fixed. Absolute column and relative row references. Dollar $A2. When copied down, the column letter stays same and row numbers change. A2 change to A3. When copied across, they stay constant. A2 did not change. Relative column and absolute row references. Example, A$2. When copied down, they stay constant. When copied across, the column letter changes and row numbers always same. A2 change to B2. In conditional formatting rules, mixed cell references are used more frequently. They indicate that a column letter or row number is to remain fixed when the rule is applied to all other cells in the selected range. Cell references are relative to the top left cell in the applied range. For example, A2 if the applied range is A2 to B6. When writing a new rule, write formula for the upper left cell only and Excel will copy the formula to all other cells in the selected range. Let's write some rules to see how these references work in a conditional formatting formula. Absolute column and relative row references. Make a rule that compares values in columns A and B and highlights a value in column A if it is greater than a value in column B in the same row. Use this formula $A2 greater than $B2. The formula is written for cell A2. Since values in columns A and B are always compared, fix these columns by using absolute column references. Use dollar sign before column letters. Since values in each row are compared individually, use relative row references without dollar sign. In cell A2, the formula returns false and so A2 is not formatted. When Excel virtually copies this formula to A3, the formula changes to $A3 greater than $B3, row number is changed to 3. The formula returns true, so A3 is formatted using custom format selected in the rule. The formula is virtually copied to all the other cells in the range and the cells are formatted accordingly. Relative column and absolute row references. In this case, the row number is always constant while the column changes. Use such references when you want to check values in a row against a certain value or against values in another row. For example, B$3 greater than B$4, this formula compares values in row 3 and 4 and the rule highlights a value in row 3 if it is greater than a value in row 4 in the same column. The formula is returned for cell B3. Since values in rows 3 and 4 are always compared, Fix these rows by using absolute row references. Use dollar sign before row numbers. Since values in each column are compared individually, use relative row column references without dollar sign. In cell B3, the formula returns true and so B3 is formatted. When Excel virtually copies this formula to C3, the formula changes to C$3 greater than C$4, column letter is changed to C. The formula returns false, so C3 is not highlighted. The formula is virtually copied to all the other cells in the applied range and the cells are formatted. Absolute cell references. Use absolute cell references to compare all values in the selected range with a constant value. To highlight all values in column A that are greater than a value in cell B2, Use this formula $A2 greater than $B$2. $A2 use an absolute column and relative row reference as we want to check values in all cells of column A against the value in cell B2. $B$2 use absolute reference as B2 contains the constant value that you want to compare with values in column A. 
values in column A greater than 70 are highlighted. Relative cell references used when you want to compare all cells of the selected range against a certain value. To highlight values in column A, B and C which are greater than the value in G3 use this formula A2 greater than or equal to $G$3. Always write a formula for the top left cell in the range in this case A2. The rule is applied to the range A2 to C14. Since we want to compare all values in the range to value in G3, use relative reference A2. All the values greater than 45 are highlighted. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.